Tom D'Souza had his first hit of ice at 14. It was the start of a five-year meth addiction that almost killed him. It's a very potent and very powerful drug. Um, and I'd say the hardest thing for me about trying to get off it was after having um, formed habits of behaviour for so long, it's, it's very difficult to break those those habits of behaviour. For most of his teenage years, Tom was in and out of jail and he tried to take his own life. Two of his best friends were charged with murder and his parents cut ties with him. It very much damaged my relationship with my father, which I'm still working to, to repair today. But the 23-year-old managed to turn his life around and has been clean for almost four years. Lots of people don't make it um, and I've, I've watched... I've watched that happen to other people and uh, lots of my friends that I used to knock around with are, are either dead or in jail and yeah, I'm incredibly lucky to be here. Tom is now taking his fight against meth to WA schools, sharing his story with high school students across Perth in hope they won't make the same mistake. It's great to be able to spread uh, a message of hope and, and, um, and, and to, to show people that it's worth not giving up. Methamphetamine use in Australia has tripled over the past five years, making Australians one of the highest per capita consumers in the world. Demand for the drug is spiralling out of control, especially in regional WA. It's been a long journey for Tom to get to this point of being able to share his story. His mission now is to work with mental health services and take his school addresses statewide. The unique position that I'm in is uh, kids everywhere are told that are told that drugs are bad that's that's not what this what this is about kids kids already know that but people people still go down that path uh, what this is about is is me providing a lived experience of addiction and and, and what can happen when people go down that path Nicole Hamer Sky News Perth